This is going to be a simple tutorial where when we press the record button the image changes into a recording mode as such and when we press the button again it goes back to normal just to simulate the recording. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, so for this one, we're just going to be changing the image and the image button. So when you press it, it records, press it again, it stops recording. So this is going to be a toggle button. Every time you press the button, it changes state from recording to non-recording. And this is going to be actually a very easy and simple tutorial. So it's okay for beginners to Android as such. Okay, so let's make a start. First thing we want to do is to set up a member for our image button. I'll just work out where to put that. Okay, I'm just going to put that under here. Uh, I'll just call it private. It's an image button. And I'll just call it member record image button and just let me put another member I need to keep track whether I'm recording or not recording so I'm going to use a boolean member just to hold that state so we're going to create that boolean um, and I'll just call it um, as recording okay now I need to just um, initialize my record image button I'll do that in the onCreate method here. Straight under where we set up the texture view, we'll do the same thing for the record image button. And we need to cast that to an image button. Call find view by ID, and it should be called a video online image button. Not a great name, anyway. Okay, now we've got that image button, let's select an on-click listener. So when we press it, we can actually do something and change the image to the image button. So call M record image button again, call set on-click listener, create a new on-click listener there. Okay, first thing we want to do is to check to see if we're recording. So let's just, just do the call on our boolean. Oh, well, let's just go back up here. Um, let me just initialize a default value here for the boolean. Let's set it as false so we're not recording at the moment. Go to my on create. So if the current state's recording and you press the button, we want to stop recording. So if we are recording at the moment, so we call it and we'll set that as false to stop recording. And we'll change the image to available. So it's called our record image button. Now from here we can call set image resource. So set image resource here. And it's under the my, my map. And currently in the state recording, so we want to say we're online again. And let's just copy these two lines here and add an else statement here, paste those two lines in there, and basically if we're not recording, this is what happens in this else statement, we'll set that to true, it's like a toggle, and if we go to the online here, let's change that image to busy. Okay, and if you look here on the left hand side here, it's actually showing us the images that are going to be displayed on our image button view. And so if we're recording, if our current state is currently recording and we press the button, we're going to go back to green again, available for recording. And inside the our statement here, basically we're not recording. And so if we're not recording and we press the button, we're going to, as you can see here, go red and we're going to be um, busy and we're going to set as recording as true. So these are the two toggle states. You keep pressing the button and it changes from one color to, to the other. I think you get the idea. Anyway, let's try running this and see what happens.
patient's now started. Let me record that so you can see what's happening on the device. Okay, so we're currently available. Let's press the record button. We're busy. Okay, I want to stop recording. Press it again. Available again. And it will keep on doing that. So that's, that's all we wanted to do. Um, pretty much similar to any other camera sort of device. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. It's beginner friendly and all I wanted to focus on this was just how you would change an image to a view. In this case it was an image button view. And for the actual application itself, we're just setting up a toggle which we're monitoring with a boolean. And so basically just keep pressing it and you're assigning a different image to the image button view on each button press as such. Anyway, that concludes this part of the Android Camera 2 video application. There's still plenty more to happen because we're not yet recording. Anyway, so if you haven't already subscribed and you want to get notified of the further episodes to this tutorial or any other new tutorial series I'm working on, click on that subscribe button down below. And if you want to keep up to date with all the latest news, news and updates to uh, mobile application tutorials, you can see surrounding me um, are clickable links if you're on a PC to my various social media accounts. And don't forget, directly above me is my website is, is itself. And it's probably the best place to view the video because you've got the reference material down below as well as um, instructions on GitHub how to pull down the source code changes for that particular episode. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye for now.